Hello everyone and welcome to this reading vlog. I'm super excited because today I'm starting, I'm going to start to read The Book Thief and this is a book that has been on my TBR for a while but it's also one that I'm kind of sort of didn't, wasn't sure if I would want to read because of the topic and the timing that it's about. Let's read kind of pure fantasy escapism so I'm really intrigued to read this because I know it is a lot of people's favourite book so let me just let me just read you the blurb here is a small fact you are going to die 1939 nazi germany the country is holding its breath death has never been busier lysel a nine-year-old girl is living with her with a foster family in himmel street her parents have been taken away to a concentration camp lysel steals books this is her story, the story of the inhabitants of her street when the bombs begin to fall. Some important information. This novel is narrated by death. So this book is literally told from the perspective of death. He narrates everything and I've literally only read the kind of the first prologue bit so far and it was so, I'm so intrigued to see how this is going to go. and yeah i'm really excited to get started but also slightly nervous because i know it's a lot of people's favorite book so i'm intrigued to see what the hype is all about i've literally only read the first kind of little bit but yeah i'm really enjoying it so far obviously this is really right near the beginning um, but I really like the way that it is written and the way Death tells the story. It's weird to say that Death's a cool narrator, but he is so far. But I've actually, I'm going somewhere today that's sort of weirdly appropriate for this um, novel. I am going to a 40s event. Let me go get ready and then we'll head there.
Hello, so it is um, a few days since I first started this reading vlog and I've read a fair bit to be honest. It's it's quite a long book and because the topic is quite heavy I'm sort of enjoying it slowly but that said I am really genuinely enjoying this so much more than I thought I would. I sort of, like I said, like I said before, I don't actually tend to read sort of historical books set during you know the war and times when you know were you know sad and you know well Nazi Germany you know um but I am really enjoying this and I love the way that it's told it's at times feels very light and then at other times obviously it touches upon obviously the horrible things that were happening at the time but it does it in a way where it's I don't know I want to say that beautiful is so beautifully written I'm really enjoying it and I have actually remembered that I've seen the film it was quite a while ago though so I have the vague memories of what happens but I can't remember clearly but yes so I sort of I kind of forgot that I'd watched the film but it's not coming back to me that clearly because I can't quite remember the ending and what happens at the end um Particularly to one of the characters who's just in, like, who's been there, Max. I can't remember what happens to him, and he's like my fave at the moment. Bless him. Yes, and just, and Rudy as well. I do. I just, oh, it's so good. I'm really enjoying this. Um, let's try and read some more. <laughs> I just love this book so much I sort of never want to take it back to the library. <laughs> Deadly. I'm sort of just slowly enjoying the book opposed to trying to like rush it through and read it all in one go. It's kind of the book where I just want to read it slowly and steadily and I am really enjoying it so much more than I like what I would. I just I really love it. I don't actually think I'm going to end up getting much read this week because I am going to be at a book festival and so as you most of you may know I am a author, I have my own book series, Master of Darkness, um, Dragonheart Chronicles, and so I am going to be at an event, a book festival that has, there's like author talks, there are stalls, it's quite a big event and it takes over the whole town, so, and it's going on for four days, so it's quite a long event, it's going to be, hopefully the weather is meant to be quite nice, though I think it might be a bit too hot, but I've got a feeling that's going to take up most of my time so I feel like I am not going to read that much this week however I will probably end up buying books this week because at these festivals it always happens that I end up coming away with more books than I was intending to to be fair it's the same for practically all the authors there it happens every year when we have these festivals it's you get to meet lots of other authors and you get to chat and stuff but then you're telling them about your books and they're telling you about their books and it's just 
you find so many great little gems that you don't realize about until you know you meet the authors there at these festivals so there are a lot of them but it's going to be it's going to be a long week as well so i will try and film some stuff um, and i'll see you there went well thank you for everyone who bought a book who came and i signed books and hopefully i spelled everyone's name right which is honestly my biggest fear when i am signing books because i'm dyslexic so spelling isn't my strong point that's like my spell checking is something that has to be edited multiple multiple times before i even show it to like editors so i am really glad that no one said i spelled their name wrong um and yes, it got good fun, but I'm sort of also now very glad to have some time just to relax and to rest and to finish the book thief. I am almost there. I am definitely going to be able to finish it tonight. So I'm really nervous about finishing it because like I said, I watched the movie and I know parts of the ending, but I cannot remember everything that clearly. So I am not 100% sure what happens so let's finish the book thief Thank you. 